faces of those who gave the ultimate sacrifice are part of a new art exhibit, all in hopes to provide the human side of war. The night team's Andy Choi joins us with more on the rise of the fallen, Andy. Eric, a picture may be worth a thousand words, but these images of Wisconsin's brave soldiers and Marines could leave those viewing the work speechless. You know, one box at a time is very powerful, but as we were installing it, every time we installed a row, it just felt bigger and bigger and bigger, and, it, and to me it feels bigger than what it really is. Maybe you've heard their names, read about where they lived, or how long they served, but artist Andre Farella's work, The Rise of the Fallen, is more about a higher connection. The subtlety, I think, is what the power is. It's like they're almost there, and they're almost not there. It's almost so real that you can almost talk to them. All 101 Wisconsin servicemen and women who gave their lives in Iraq and Afghanistan are honored in what Farella calls spirit boxes. The milky translucent plexiglass box is what creates the three-dimensional effect for each of the soldiers' photographs. His idea was to sort of give the sense that they're on the other side looking to us. Each face on display offers those that are looking a chance to go beyond names and statistics and find themselves closer to the human side of war. People are going to bring all sorts of different um, ideas to the exhibit, different perspectives, political perspectives, but we want, we want people to focus on, on the individuals and, and the, the men and women who did give their lives for, for some ideals. I hope that the public honors them and commemorates them for who and what they've done for us. Farella says each spirit box takes hours to create from start to finish. The display will eventually travel around the state, but Farella says his ultimate goal is to create spirit boxes for all of the American servicemen and women who have given their lives. That number is at 5,521. Andy, did they mention how maybe the families of the service members are reacting to this? A lot of the families have seen the piece, Eric. Farella tells us for many it's still incredibly difficult to come to terms with the exhibit's emotional message but many of the families are telling Farilla that it's helping to bring some sense of closure to see their loved ones through those spirit boxes. All right, News 3's Andy Choi reporting. Andy, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. The Rise of the Fallen on display at the Wisconsin Veterans Museum on 30 West Mifflin. That's just off the square in Madison. You can check it out through October 31st.